Now let's get all topics. Let's go to Visual Studio Code, write a root, type up gate, and name the root all. Pass the function. And in the function block, let's check if database is not null. Then call the query method of database and pass the SQL query as a string. Select all from table topic and pass the callback function. And in the function, let's pass two params error and results. And in the function block, Let's check if not error, then send the response. Now save it, go to layout.ejs view, scroll down and go to menu section, add a submenu, name it all topic. And pass the root to href. Now save it, go to browser, reload the page, click on topic menu, and click on all topic menu. Great, we can see our data. It's an array holding multiple objects. Now let's go back to Visual Studio Code again, go to topics root, and instead of sending response, Let's render a view. Let's name the view topics minus all. And pass the data. Now let's create the view. And in the view, let's add an HTML table and render the data. Let's make the code block and write for our topic of topics, open the block and close the block. And inside the block, let's call one table row and in the table row, Let's add one table data and show our topic name inside table data. Now add one more table data and show edit and delete actions. Now save it, go to topics root, save it, go back to browser, and reload the page to check. Great, we can see all our topics. Now let's update one topic in next lesson.